Hello everybody, my name is Lynx and welcome back to Warframe and this, this is going to be the second video of the day. Um, and in the yellow right here it says celebrate four years of Warframe. Now, if you go to the website you can see the event posted and everything and there's actually, there's actually a pretty cool graph um, there and it's it shows basically all the activity through these four years so far um, and it's pretty spectacular I gotta say but that's not what we're here to talk about what we're here to talk about is this event so here not in the events tab not the pacifism defect you go down a little bit there is the gift from the lotus stolen so these events are the three events you go to you you can do to get the three anniversary weapons and for each one of these, whichever weapon it gives is weapon you must use. So for the Dex Furious, it's a secondary. You can only use secondaries. For the Dex Dacra, it is a melee weapon, so you can only use melee weapons. And for the Dex Cerberus, it's a primary weapon, so you can only use primary weapons. So uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you should be able to actually go into these missions now with just what you with, with, with just your loadout, and it should unequip. Yes. Okay. Cool. It actually just right away unequipped stuff so i'm actually gonna jump into a party so people don't hear me talking all right so jumping in here now i actually i actually got pretty pissed about this originally because when i first read this and i was in uh who was i was in brozyme's discord at the mo at the time when this actually went live and it basically just said uh events are going on for these weapons and at the end of it you'll get the sign dana um and I actually got really pissed about it because at first I thought it was, okay, you have to jump in this and you have to do these events on these days. And later I found out it is it is through this whole weekend. So that is actually a, a bit better than um, what I thought. And I was and it said it's a sortie style. Um, there are sortie style missions. And I, I legitimately assumed that they were going to be like, actual sortie style missions with like higher levels and stuff and i was thinking well they're completely shafting the entire um the entire population of the newer players and that was not what was that's not what happened at all uh because well now we're in a mission where these guys are level 10 to whatever 15 and yeah they're kind of falling like paper paper dolls um so it's not that big of a deal anymore i just kind of thought i was pissed about it originally but um now it's now it's here and it's just a lot it's a lot better than i expected it to be i thought it was going to be kind of annoying um but anyway i feel like honestly if they were to it, next time they do do the, one of these events um honestly just give us the weapons because these are anniversary weapons and they should be treated as such and not really they should i feel like a lot of the community is kind of pissed just because they're there are anniversary weapons, and all three of the other years that these the, these have been here, um, they've been gifted to us. Not we didn't have to do a mission. Um, and I know there's people saying, well, if you can't find 15 minutes in your day to uh, to do these missions and get the weapons, then it's not then you shouldn't be playing the game anyway. But that's just BS because I mean, what is it? I think when I looked at that chart, there was something like 40 million or 30 or 40 million. Um, uh, Tenno, actual like people registered on Warframe, um, but I, I don't know. I just kind of feel like maybe a little bit of a rip for some of the for some of the newer people. Um, but you know, it's whatever. Honestly, something that I've been finding as of recently with these with extraction missions is once you've actually once you've gone ahead and beat the mission so i'm at 87 out of 87 enemies there is still enemies left and there are yeah there's still enemies left but it's telling us we've beat the mission and now we can actually go to extraction i don't know what's going on with that i actually i was in a void i was in the void on oxamoco uh, just yesterday and um well the uh uh, after the exterminate was done, it's I was only at like 120 out of 130, and it said I was done, uh, and it went all the way up to 137 instantly. I was what the hell? But uh, I guess I don't know what's wrong with this because there's a lot more enemies left. But I, I don't know. It's whatever. So yeah, that's that mission done, and my taxon's finally maxed out. Took damn long enough. <laughs> now I'm trying to see here. If at the end of this mission, do we get the weapon right away? Yes, right away we get the weapon. 
Thank you. What did that just say? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought for a second that said Dex Furious Blueprint, and I was about to flip out. No, it said it, we we avoided from the corpus getting the Dex Furious Blueprint. Okay. Well, right away. No, not the Vacor Marilock. Don't look at the Vacor Marilock. The Dex Furious. Where is it? There it is. So, these things. Uh, where is the regular Furious? I want to try and compare these two. Yeah, same stats. Uh, this one has better... This one has better status, better reload, better higher magazine, uh, higher critical chance, but they're all still pretty low stats. But other than that... When you get these things, they do come with a extra slot and an Oricon Catalyst pre-installed, which is very nice. Thank you for, for thank you for that DE, which means I can already put Hornet Strike and Barrel Diffusion, and I have another dash, which I guess can go to magazine capacity. Why not? 130 bullets. That's a lot, but whatever. And oh, that looks nice. So. On to the next event, which is going to be melee only, and I do not, I do not want to take the glaive into this. I want to take my Galatine Prime. All right, jumping into the second event here. This one's against the Infested, and I think it's appropriate that the uh, that the, the that uh, this mission is uh, melee only because Infested are kind of uh, weak, and uh, they can be taken out by slash damage usually, which is why I'm bringing the Galatine Prime. All right, um, so we're in the mission now, and it's a rescue, and we're already purging the, apparently already purging the, uh, the rescue target, which kind of already blows. Wow, what the hell is going on here? I do not, I don't think I've ever done the infested one of these. How is this happening? Okay, well, we did it anyway. <laughs> Well then, that was pretty easy. I jumped into a mission in progress and I already won. So, yeah. <laughs> I've had luck with uh, jumping into mission in progress events and being pretty successful right away. Um, for example, I went in, what was it? A while back in Destiny, insert, insert whatever flashback bubble, I jumped into a prison of elders on wave three out of three. And I got a gal and I got a galahorn from jumping into a mission that was already done basically so Funny times I guess but the, that means this is gonna be even easier to get the dex dacra Something of a weapon. I've really been looking at looking forward to um, Just cuz I know the dacra is not that good, but the dex dacra uh, Still not that good, but it's 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 decent, but that's beside the point. Also, you guys can expect a, uh, a Vara review pretty soon, just because I finished leveling her up, and uh, well, yeah, I basically have my thoughts and opinions on how all the abilities work, so you can expect that pretty soon. Whoa, this guy's got I, like this guy's got a face. What? <laughs> this dude's got a legit face. Oh, that's funny. Ha! <laughs> Finally. Okay. Mission score 2, 1900 credits, 1600 credits, 190 ferrite, and we're already out of there. Yay! Alright, coming out of that mission and leave the squad. Will it put me right back into this? Yes, it will. And Dex Dakra. Sweet. Aha! Your efforts have de prevented them from destroying the deck stack or blueprints. It's not making them, it's destroying them now. So we're going back into the Galatine Prime. Or going away from the Galatine Prime, where's the deck stack? It's up here, isn't it? Yep. Dex stack. So, comparing this to the Dakra Prime. Uh, yeah, the, the deck stack is quite a bit better in every way, except. The Dacro Prime is a bit more critical chance and a bit more attack speed, but it is a dual weapon, uh, the Dex Dacro, so that should mean it's already fast, pretty fast, and that Lotus Emblem on the guard is awesome. As with the other weapon, it does come with, uh, it does come with 
a catalyst installed and meaning I can put I don't have the other stance for dual swords well that blows I guess crossing snakes is gonna go in there for now and it comes with a dash so we can put buzzkill and fury and pressure point and uh, we'll just add more slash. Cool. Now we got a pretty nice weapon. So we got Dex Furious and Dex Dacra. We only got one left. And finally, what did I just see there? Nothing. Finally, we have the Dex Sybaris from the Grenier. Uh, so, using the primary, which is going to be the Dread. So, this should be pretty easy. I actually thought this event was going to be a lot more annoying, but it's not that bad. It's, I've gotten this done pretty quickly. I've only been home for about half an hour. And I spent five of those minutes making, I don't know, five, like ten minutes making and uploading that uh, Barrow Kateer video. So, yeah, pretty quick event. Easy levels. Yeah, I had way too many criticisms about this when it first was announced. But it's fine now. Oh, it's, oh, it's an interception. I was going to say, it's, if it's the defense in this, this map, I'm going to hate it. But, yeah, it's fine. And uh, just noting for the people that are curious about it and they know about it already, um, the Dex Cyandana, uh, I kind of want to find the actual name of it uh, if I can. Of course, there is a Mirage with a similar in here. And well, that, well, yeah, I'm happy about that because now the, now, now the similar is going to be nerfed. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. You, I, I'm ecstatic about that because now the simulator is going to stop being everywhere with every mirage that ever existed. Okay, so after the... When was it? On on March 28th, uh, the Dex Nuchali, Nuchali Cyandana will be here. That's basically the Dex Cyandana. That's the new Dex item this year. Um, and that'll be here uh, for everyone at the end of this event and it'll be here for about a week so if you guys are gonna if anyone's gonna be out of town or like doing it something else for a week and you still want to pick up that cyanana uh then you'll be able to after a week so yeah that's kind of it it does look like a nice cyanana I, I'm, I'm waiting to see what that looks like on certain warframes like uh maybe hmm Maybe a VAR, actually. Um, and a couple others. I can't think of them right now, but... You see what I mean? Stop doing this stuff. It's really, really annoying. Mirage. Mirage is everywhere. Just please stop. No one likes these, okay? You may, you may like them, but no one else does. Alright, and the... Ev the mission is now over. Eh, that was annoying. <laughs> Out of all of them, that was definitely the most annoying one, especially since the the first one was easy. The second one I came in half done on, and the third one, well, this one was just annoying. There's too many enemies, and well, other complaints about stupid stuff that I shouldn't care about. But that's not the main thing. Dex. Sibaris. Finally. I've been waiting to get this thing for a long time. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need it. I need it right away. And I got the regular Sibaris, and it just wasn't the same. Where is the Dex Sibaris? Dex Sibaris. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. So, compared to the regular Sibaris, where is it? So, the Dex Sibaris has a lot more slash but less impact puncture than the regular Sabaris. Has a faster reload, more magazine, more fire rate, higher, wow, higher critical chance, uh, and everything else is the same. So right away, come as with all the rest, comes with catalyst and a slot, but unlike, as with the regular Sabaris, there is no polarities, meaning, I am going to put a lot of forma into this thing. 
because I really like this weapon, but I want it to be good. So a lot of former is definitely going to go into this, unfortunately. So that about does it for this video. It's been a long one. I need to go rank all these up and get all my mastery fodder out of them. And well, I think I might actually have one or two more videos to do. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Go ahead and tell me in the comments below what you thought of this whole missions to get the anniversary weapons and what you thought could have been done better or differently. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.